Hi, this is Eric. This is now two years ago since I had my maxillomandibular advancement surgery. Um, there really aren't a lot of updates since one year ago. Things haven't changed that much. Uh, my teeth and my gums are in perfectly good health. Uh, I do floss every day. My dentist recommended that. And it just makes sense. <laughs> it's amazing how much crud is in there, but uh, that, that's nothing new, honestly. That's not a problem because of the surgery or anything. Um, as far as my profile goes, my chin is my chin is quite a bit further out than it was. Uh, previously, it was very recessed. Um, I don't think I have any before pictures that would work well here, but sorry about that. But anyway, I I, I think that the new the new chin looks looks fine and all that. Um, it hasn't really helped with the sleep apnea, I don't think. Um, I, I mean, the last time I had it tested was probably six months post-op, and uh, it had helped a little bit, but it, it didn't cure it. Um, so, yeah, I still have numbness here in this area. I, I don't think that's ever going to go away. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get that feeling back. Um, that's okay. Um, the jaw does tend to click and pop a little bit. Sometimes it, it kind of locks up when I'm trying to open it. But uh, I just managed to kind of massage a little bit and uh, get it to unlock without exploding or whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's really about it. I don't think I'm going to post anything else about it. Uh, hopefully it would work better in your case, maybe cure your problem. Um, it was a lot to go through, and uh, it's not a decision to take lightly. I'm kind of glad I did it, though. I think I would always wonder if it would work, and I, and I would, I don't know. It, it's kind of nice to just have it out of the way and say, well, I tried, and now we know that doesn't work. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck with everything. Bye.